Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another one of my special action figure reviews. As you guys know, I don't normally do video reviews, but I figure I would do a review of these latest bunch of figures that were sent to me because I am pretty well impressed with them. They're a smaller company out of China called Zezre Studio, um, and I've been chatting to them lately and I'm getting friendly and maybe I'll be working with them on some capacity on some figures. I've had some interesting historical figure ideas of my own, but um, we're going to talk today about the three main figures that are first out from Ezra Studios. And they are combatant fight for glory. And basically, essentially, they're gladiator figures, as you can see. So we have a, a Secateur, a Mermillo. I think that's a Mermillo. You look it up, some, some says it's, it's Thras or Thracia. It's Thracian. It looks a little bit like Andy Whitman from Spartacus. May he rest in peace, beautiful dude. And a Recario, a, a Reciaro. Reciario, Reciario, I'm not a, Emiliano will probably get on to me about my Italian pronunciations, but there you go, three amazing gladiator figures here from Zezre Studio, again it's X-E-X-R-A-Y Studios, and these are really nice figures, um, uh, these are six inch figures as you can tell, very happy with them indeed, and let's get up and get, get a little bit close and personal with them, so initially you, you get them, oh, they, oh first of all, sorry, yeah. They, uh, we've got to talk about the boxes. Boxes are very simple. Simple, uh, straight out, pull out boxes, resealable. That's it, very simple boxes. Nice and easy for storage. Well, a little bit wide, there's a lot of extra space in there, so I think they could make the boxes a little bit narrower again. Uh, but yeah, very easy, collector-friendly boxes with some interesting information on the side, just about arena battles in, 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 in general, and then a little bit specifically on the characters here. So obviously the first guy here we have here is Kanuba. A hyena, and he's got a whole big backstory there about his, his stories. Whether these are actually based on real actual gladiators, I'm not entirely sure, but cool little stories there to, to talk to for you to learn about more gladiator stuff. So, yeah, right, but let's get on to the actual figures. If any, okay, if so any... the first one we're going to go over is Marmillo or Medicus, as he's called on the back. His nickname is the Reaper, he's, he's a Thracian. So, there you go, it's a, tr it's a Thracia. So, uh, but I look up, you look up the, the very specific gladiator types and they do actually have very specific types and things. But what I, let, let's go through the articulation on these. Now, what's really good is they've got these kinds of ball articulations here and here. Now this is great because you can actually get a good range of movement on that. You can still twist the whole upper arm in and out, which I really, really like. I think that's a really nice, nice way to handle an elbow joint. Yeah, little unsightly seeing it there, but you raise any action figure up and you're, you're going to see some level of a joint there. Yeah, I realize it's a bit more of a cavity situation than most other figures, like say a Masters Classic or whatever, or a, a Marvel Legends. But considering the range of movements that you have actually gotten with that, I actually really like it. Now also as well, I, the range of movement is great on these. Uh, again, it's got a pivot, or a, a whole swivel at the elbow, which go, goes everywhere. My favorite thing of the whole lot is the fact that it's essentially got hot toy hands. Yeah. The one major thing I will say about sculpting is I do think the hands are a little bit on the big side. They're a little bit mitts, my mitts. A bit mitt-like, but they hold weapons great. They're very sturdy, and they get a great range of movement on them because you can go up and down. Most action figures are side to side. I don't know why side to side is, 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 is a default for action figures. I up and down for me because I want those nice challenging sword poses. And yeah, so you've got all the sword poses, and you can pop the limbs off, pop all the weapons off. I actually don't like popping limbs off if I don't need to, so I haven't actually bother to try yet uh, but everything seems really good there you go underneath there as well now when you get them in the packaging you're probably going to find your guys are going to look a bit like that and you're going to say oh it's all really gappy here just you, you pull it down it's just it's just the way it rides up in the thing that's all and it'll stay there quite nicely what i love about these um is is the ease of use i like picking up an action figure with a movie be it your, your better call solar game of thrones or something i like sitting down with my partner She's munching on a cake or whatever. I've got an action figure in my hand and I like sitting down watching a movie with an action figure in my hand that doesn't feel fiddly or bits are all over the place. And these figures fall into that category. They're really smooth. They're really nice. Nothing falls off. Everything is kind of there and solid. And it's just absolutely, I really, really, that's what I really like about them. They do have a squeak factor. I'm going to now introduce a new theory into action figure collecting. I'm gonna copyright it here right now. We're gonna call it the noise factor. And that is, how noisy is your action figure when you're sitting down with your partner watching a movie? She, who may not necessarily be into action figures as much as you, would maybe object to the odd squeak. So, let's say a Hot Toys Iron Man, no. 
You do not pick up a Hot Toys Iron Man in the middle of Better Call Saul. You, you, you don't do that in this house. Can you pick up one of these and watch Better Call Saul? Yeah. A little bit squeaky on occasion, though. Not like a master's classic, actually. You know, it's a little bit squeaky, but not majorly. That is not necessarily even a star that should be coming down or a demerit on that. I realize that thing. But for those of us who do have loving, ever-understanding partners or wives, I figure these things are worth mentioning. So these things... At a loud scene, you can get away with it, but maybe not in a, in, in a quieter scene. They're not as quiet as a Masters of the Universe classic or maybe even a Star Wars black series. But anyway, I, di I digress. Let us go on. Plenty of articulation on the, uh, the, uh, the ankles as well. Up and down, side to side, rocking. Again, much like Hot Toys. Um, what I really especially like is the fact that he's got really good elbows on him. Now, I will say the hands are very tight, but the figures, the, the weapons do pop in easily. You just saw that there. But the figures aren't, the hands aren't very gummy. And that's the one thing I would say. I would like slightly gummier, slightly gummier. The problem with gummy plastic is that joints and things pop out, and when things get hot in the summer, figures start taking tumbles. With slightly harder plastic like this, you don't get those problems. Um... No, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just learning, uh, as an action figure, getting into action figure business, I'm just learning about plastics and things like that myself, so I'm, I'm not going to speak to any great authority on what plastics are better for what. But I like the plastic on these. It is a harder plastic on this than, say, a Masters Classic. It's a little, it feels a little bit more like the plastic on um, a Marvel Legends, but even so, I would liken it more to, to those kinds of Bandai robots that you kind of get. Um... It just feels a little bit more like that in terms of like it's a very secure joint. You you, you feel that nothing's going to pop out. But one of the things I'm going to say is the um, the elbow joints. Look at that. And you get really good at That's a really good elbow joint there. And that's what I really like about these. It's the ability to pose. you got torso section. Yeah, that's a little unsightly. So that comes on a little bit of a point there. It loses, it loses points on a little bit of unsightliness. But that is unsightly. But not... You know, it's not... You can, Jesus, I mean, look. Look at the crunches. For the kind of pose you can get out of them... You've got to have a sacrifice somewhere. And look, he's so easy to pose and do what you like with. And easy to stand and all the rest of them. So there you go. And that's, that, that's the Thrasio. Now, so we'll, we'll focus on the, the, the Amalius, Amelius rather, not the Thrasio, or Andy Whitman as we call him. Uh, what I like about him as well is you will find that the, web, the helmets and stuff that are made from a quite a thin plastic. So they're, they're squishy. So all these are squishy. That does not take from the absolutely excellentness of the sculpting going on here. The sculpting on these is quite extraordinary. Still very tight. Look at the feathers on the wings. Really, really, really nice detail still, even though that's a softer plastic. You've got the face there and that. It's tight. Now, what I like about... Why, why do I like them softer? Because A, um, if it was any thicker, then the helmets would simply be too big on them. It's a lovely, thin plastic and kind of like in scale, for want of a better description. It's kind of in scale, so the helmet comes on and it stays on the fine, doesn't shake around, no nothing. See, look, oi, he says that. <laughs> well, that was a G-force, wasn't it? Pull it off, there you go. And actually, you can put that little bit forward there. But there you go, he's fine, doesn't the helmet fall off? There you go, it doesn't fall off. Had to do that. And uh, you can put a shield on it as well. Uh, lovely shield, check out the details on that shield. Look at that, very nice, again, tight details tight details lovely lovely paint um i would also say that i would prefer slightly more vibrant colors on these i think like the silver stuff should be just a little bit more of a shiny silver and the gold should be just a little bit more of a kind of a, a more of a kind of a a, a a luscious gold on these that's the only thing i would say you compare it to something like a mythic legion shall we say and the colors on those really 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 pop but again, that's honestly where my criticisms on this, on these stop. And it's not even a criticism, it's just a tasting. I would have just preferred maybe slightly more metallic colors on them. But the details are all there. You could paint it up if you wanted. And I dare say the studio is Esri studio here may, may do another batch again. Uh, maybe with more vibrant colors. I don't know. These, these are the first figures from this company out the door. And uh, let's talk about the price for a second. Uh, these are 60 bucks or 65 bucks from 5k toys i do believe the company is trying to find a european distributor as first figures i kind of ex as first figures out the door from a brand new company who are just testing the water who are unsure whether they have a product that will really sell mass market or not i can understand why these figures are the last price these are it's not a big company these are the only things these guys make they have to cover their costs i can kind of understand that 
saying that, 60 bucks is very expensive for a figure this size. And I'm thinking and speaking with the guys, they do want to bring the prices down. And I think they will get the prices down to about maybe 40 bucks, 45 bucks maybe. Maybe, do not quote me on this. But I think if the figures sell well, I think they will be able to bring the prices pri prices down to about 45 bucks uh, on subsequent waves or indeed on re-releases of these waves. But there you go. That, this is the, this is the, um, the Thracian. So you put a shield on. Now, I, you can put the shield on in his hand and stuff like that, but I just like doing it like that because I like changing out the hands and the swords and things. But what I love about it is you can get some just great poses. You can get the sword out like that, which is what I like. Oh, and of course, he's got a cool little... Um, He's got his Roman numerals on the back there, tattooed on him, you know. Probably could be a little bit more faded, make it a little bit more realistic, but you know, you're not going to complain. Uh, the anatomy on these is quite nice. I say quite nice, not perfect, but quite nice. Um, let's have a little look at his arms here. So you can see the muscles on them. Yeah, but they're nice. It's a little, a little, little, little otter on the little area here, but I think plenty good. Plenty good. I would have preferred slightly more kind of... Um, it's just, a little, it's just a little, little out here, but this is me getting really stupidly funny because I gush over figures and then people, if I gush too much over figures and don't have any criticisms, people will wonder. So I'm, I'm picking out small criticisms for the sake of coming off as balanced and all the rest of it. Um, but I really like the anatomy. I love his meaty legs. I love the powerful legs on these guys. Um, I do think the black wash that they have on him is a little bit overdone at times. Like I, I don't really like how it recedes in here and things like that. So I do, I do think maybe on subsequent um, Ways to kind of get the wash a little bit more, because I think the bodies are great on these. And you can also stick that sword in the back there as well. It's a nice little uh, swivelly thing there. Look. So yeah, and it swivels as well. But they can kind of get, get right in there again. Look at the lovely details on the belt, all the buckles, all the stitching and all the rest of it. Again, you can imagine this armor here with a, 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 a little bit more of a wash on there. And that's going to up the price and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's difficult for a small company with just one set of figures out. You know, they're, they're, they got to make their bank on there. So I'm hoping maybe once they realize, as I said, once they realize they got a bit of a hit in their hands, I think they might have a hit in their hands here. Maybe. We'll see. Um, and with subsequent waves, we'll have a sl the slight improvements. But I can't complain about the overall body and quality of them. I think they're absolutely stunning. They pose well. They, they work well. Let's have a look at the other guys. Uh, there you go. Missed that well as well. This guy here is really cool. He's, he's one of my favorites, this guy here. This guy is called Hyena, or Knuba. Or as I like to call him, the Numibian. The Numibian. Uh, and again, lovely helmet, easily goes on. Look how nice and thin the helmet is. There you go. Take the helmet. Get the Numibian very nice again. You get, oops, put the swords in them. Again, oh. And you can just pop those weapons in, no problem. But again, you look at the lovely pose you can get with the swords. Look at that. You can get that sword right up to his face. And and get these really, you know, point, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take your head off type poses. This is what I want. This is what I want action figures to be able to do. The kinds of poses that I want. And the only thing action figures, a lot of action figures don't do, is the ability to hold a sword with two hands. And you can't, because I actually think they are too, when they do articulation, they do, do cuts in, um, in the pectorals on some figures like they do. I believe on the old Sota um, Street Fighter figures, I just thought it was too ugly. I would just sooner have that of that pose. But for me, wrist articulation is where it's at. It has to, uh, you have to have good wrist articulation on the figure, and these ones have great wrist articulation. I absolutely love them. Again, love, lovely posing. Easy, 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 easy to pose up. Put another, give him, give him an axe. Give him an axe. Oh, here we go. Weapons popped in all right, actually. Just a little harder on the things, but there you go. Look at that. You know, they're just really, like, the, the joints are, 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 are not super tight, you know? Everything's the right consistency. That's what I'm saying. Just the engineering is just, everything just feels kind of right about these. About these. It's like, you know... They, they don't, they, oh, right out the door, this company's just got the body down. The body is absolutely brilliant. I cannot complain about the body. On their next waves, they do have some Roman legionaries coming. So check out their Facebook page, sraystudios.com. That's X-A-X-R-A-Y.com. Check it out because they got like some Roman legionaries coming. I've got some ideas for action figures. I'm not going to tell anyone at the moment yet, but there's a figure that a lot of us, particularly Irish 
folks have always wanted to see. So we're going to see if we can try and get that to, get that to happen in some way or not. But yeah, look at that. Just the amount of posing is just great. He's got a cool tattoo in his arm there as well. He's got a hyena. His nickname is hyena. Very cool. Again, lovely details on the belt. Check out all the details on the belt there and stuff. Very nice. Just really nice, just tight details. Just everything's clean and nice. I love the veins on the legs. I love the veins on the biceps and the arms. are very visceral. You know, they have that visceral quality. They like. They look like they stepped out of um, Spartacus. So they did. Um, and I think a lot of customers would have great times with these, but doing some paint splats and stuff like that. This guy comes with a second arm, so you can pop out the arm and, and change it if you want. He also comes with a shield. There's a nice shield there. Again, look at the nice scratches on the shields. Very nice. Again, just, it's clean, you know? It's not overly fussy. They're, they're, they're not trying, it's like we want to make solid, good, clean figures right out the door, and I think they really have. I'm like, I was like super impressed when I got these, I'm, and, 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 and I've been raving about them ever since. If folks have been following me on Facebook, they can see that yeah, I have indeed been raving about these ever, ever since. They're absolutely wonderful figures. Um, let me put that down. Now, I guess maybe, I'm just trying to think what people are going to be wondering and asking for. So this is the, um, this is a guy called um, Devilfish. And he's, or as I like to call him, uh, Bjorn Ironside, because he looks a bit like Bjorn Ironside. And again, you can see the face there. And again, look at his lovely shoulders. And again, look at the tight details. And again, it's this kind of softer plastic, but it's perfectly good. Because again, if it was any thicker, you wouldn't have the interchangeability of all these. You could imagine if this was thicker plastic, how clunky this armor would look on these figures. The fact that it's a thinner plastic means that it, you can slide off the armor. Look, it's, it's all separate. It all slides off. There's a totally naked body underneath here. You can take everything off. I just generally don't like popping my figures apart because I don't want to, I mean, you know? I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm always afraid of doing it. Other people can be, other, other viewers can be, can, can brave uh, pulling them apart if they want to. But they do pull apart and are fully customizable. But yeah, again, look at all of his, look at the stuff on his feet. Again, it's all there, man. And I think with just even one more paint, one more level of paint would even bring some of that stuff out again. Because again, I would like this to be a kind of a, a more of a silver than just a gray. These are the only merits, again, that I'm talking about on these. Uh, great stuff, nice little dagger on the back there, I mean, look. It's all tight, all the stitching, it's all tight. It's even like, you can even see the material on his cloth there. You know, that's, it's stuff like that that makes these figures really nice. It's small, little things like that that say, yeah, these guys are here, these guys are here to play, to play, play a long game. And uh, I'm going to hopefully be there to enjoy the ride a little bit more. So there you go. Um, that is the uh, war, uh, Combatant Fights for Glory figures from S-Ray Studios. Uh, I guess folks will want to see what they look like with um, other figures. So let's get our figures out. Two seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. People want to look like, look like other figures. That's there, there with a Marvel Legends. Uh, it's, I realize it's a female Marvel Legends, it's Thor. So, there you go. And uh, with Lionel. I ha would have had a He-Man figure up, but he's in the other room. So if anyone wants to see what they look like with a Lionel figure, now obviously Lionel's a bit bigger. But I guess the main thing that people will want to be looking for, there you go, you can see him there with Lionel. Lionel's definitely um, a beefcake compared to them. But I guess the main figures that people are gonna be looking for will be, I guess, a Mythic Legion. So let us grab a Mythic Legion. And let us grab one of the more Spartacus looking guys from Mythic Legions. There you go, adding my cameraman working her magic there. So, there you go. That yeah, gives you an idea there, actually. Let's, uh, let's put the, uh, the Thracian alongside the Mythic Legion there. And you can, you can see that they, they work quite well. But again, you can see the beautiful paint on the Mythic Legions there. It's just, it's just quite outstanding, of course. Um, but of course, the Mythic Legions are established now. They're, they're able to, you know, pour a lot of money. These guys are these guys are brand new. Um, but it's a different genre anyway. These these are, it appears that Ezra are going very 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 much historical on this stuff. Cause they're giving up their next line. They've got some picks lined up. They got a couple of um, Roman legionnaires and stuff lined lined up. They got a couple of Inca looking dudes. So it's very exciting, I think. But there you go. I thought folks would want to see what they looked like with a Mythic Legion and with um, a Masters or. A Thundercats classic, even even though it's the same kind of body as a Masters classic. But there you go. So yeah, um, I can't recommend these figures enough, guys. 
I like really strongly recommend them. If you're into the TV show Spartacus, which is the music I have in the background, you're going to love them. If you just like cool historical action figures, you're going to love them. If you like Mythic Legions, you're going to love them. I just think any action figure lover will really dig on these, especially if you're into your six inch figures. And I love my six inch figures. I was just telling my girl girlfriend earlier that I mean, I love Hot Toys. I love Hot Toys, love Hot Toys, love Hot Toys. But for me, six inch action figures is where the fun is really at. And this company here, Ezra Studios, combatants fight for glory. Go look for them. You can get them from 5ktoys.com at the moment. I do believe they are looking for more retailers or you can find them on eBay as well. And I believe the company themselves are selling them themselves on eBay. Um, as it's early days yet, I say definitely watch this space. Definitely keep an eye on my feed um, on Instagram. Uh, Eamon O'Donoghue, just all one word on Instagram. Follow me on there because I'll, 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 any, any kind of new updates from this company I will post because I'm just really excited. I just, I've always wanted historical figures and there's some key historical figures that I would love to get around to, to having on, on my toy shelves and we'll, we'll just see where um, this line will end up. Uh, let's take the other figures out of the way at the moment again and let's have all three lined up. There we go. I mean, look at them, they're absolutely brilliant. We'll get him in his uh, We'll get him in his uh, Oh, you see, that's a bit difficult to get in there now. Ah, there you go. Yeah, the hands are a little bit hard, but I th everything seems very sturdy. Like, I'm not afraid of breaking anything with these when I do something like that. You know? There you go. It's just good stuff. Um, I can't really say any more, anything more about these figures. Uh, if you're on the fence and you can afford it and you have the means, snap them up, man. I cannot recommend them enough. They're absolutely some of my most favorite action figures I've gotten in a long time now. Um... Uh, that's it, really. I can't really see any more. I will let everyone go away now because I'm starting to run out of energy and running out of things to say, other than the fact that they're awesome and you ought to be buying them. But there you go. If you have any questions at all, you can always hit me up. Post comments below on the, on the thingy. Follow me on Instagram, Eamon I don't know who, and you can follow me on Twitter, Eamon underscore as well. You can also follow me on Facebook as well. I'm always on there posting action figures and stuff like that as well. But they are such good figures. I'm just going to take my camera off there for my girlfriend. They are such really nice figures. They're just tons of fun. And again, we've always wanted kind of figures kind of a little bit like Spartacus. The, Spart the characters in Spartacus are just so interesting and gnarly and cool. But there you go, folks. That's a nice 20-minute interview for you. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.